A few days ago, we published a little bit about single action controllers, and there were a couple of comments that caught my eye. Actually, there's only two comments there, but they still caught my eye. Trey too said, I would even bring it so far to say that you should create single action controllers for your basic CRUD as well. That way, it forces you to think even more about the methods in your controllers and makes it a bit more logical to think about the route structure. And then J. Peters 8889 said, in my opinion, every controller should be a single action. That's what I always do in personal projects, and we do it at work too. Huh. <laughs> So this got me thinking about MVC. What is MVC? It's Model View Controller. We divide our applications into these three distinct parts. But what is a controller? It's really nothing more than a container for commands. And if you're like me, well, you strive to have clean and tidy controllers but a lot of times it just doesn't happen, either due to laziness or, or maybe I just don't know where I need to put something. So I put it in the controller because other actions depend upon it. It's not a great excuse, but it's the excuse I'm gonna use. But what if we took you know, a controller and extracted each one of these actions out into an individual command that almost forces us into a cleaner and in a more focused code base. I mean, yes, it's definitely going to grow the code base because we have to create a class for each individual method here, but the end results, well, that could be a lot better. So let's do it. Now, of course, since we are refactoring, this is going to be a little tedious because we have to create these controllers so that we can extract all of this out. If we did this from the beginning, it wouldn't be so painful. But the very first thing that I need to do is move the mark notification red controller into the notifications folder because that's where I'm going to put all of these things. We need to group them together. So, of course, we need to change the namespace here so that it includes notifications. And it also, of course, helps if you spell notifications correctly. We also need a use statement for the controller, but this also messes up our route because we need to include that new namespace, but that's going to fix everything there and we can move on. But then we need to think about the naming scheme and we could do something like this so that we have index controller and then we could have show controller, you know, store controller, those types of things. But I'm not a fan of that approach because that means we can end up with multiple files with the same name, even if they are inside of different directories. And if we look inside of the editor, you know, we are told what the name of the file is, but we have to hover over that to show the path. And I don't want to do that. I want the name to be clear so that I know what file I'm working in. So I'm going to call my controllers the action followed by notification or notifications. In this case, it's notifications because an index is going to display multiple notifications. But then we'll have a show notification to show a single notification. Uh, we need one to create for the create form. And we just need to add one for each individual action. So I'm gonna do that. I know you don't wanna see me create those, I don't want to see me create those. So on screen, they just magically appear for you. And now it's just a matter of taking our code from our existing controller and extracting that into our single action controllers. So for the index notifications controller, I'm just going to take the code from the index method, paste it in. We do need a use statement for our notification model. And that's it. Everything is going to work just as it did before. We'll do the same thing for the create. So let's open up that controller. We don't need to do anything else because that simply just displays a view. But if we look at something like the show, you know, this method accepts the notification. In which case, the single action controller for showing a notification also needs to accept the notification so that we can work with that inside of the method. But other than that, we just paste in the code and we're done. Once again, this is something that you don't want to see me do, so let me do it right fast. And once we extract all of that functionality, 
we don't need our original notification controller anymore. So we can just close that. And then everything becomes dependent upon our routes. Now, when I read the comment of using just single action controllers, this is the part that made me pause because, you know, you have to create a route for each individual single action controller. Now, we could create a macro, you know, the resource method is just a shortcut for setting up all of the routes for a resource controller. We could essentially do the same thing, but for a single action controller or a set of single action controllers. You know, we could do something like route resource single action controller or CAC, something along those lines. We're not going to do that because that's a little deeper than what I want to go here. But there are some things that we could do to make this just a little bit easier. Like, for example, we could set the prefix because all of the URLs are going to start with notifications. So we can start with the prefix. And we could also essentially do the same thing for the name because all of the names are going to start with notifications dot. So that will make things a little bit easier to define so that then we can group all of these together and then we just need to define them inside of here. Of course, once again, you don't want to see me type all of that out. So I'm going to paste it and it's not perfect. We, we do need to add use statements for all of these. Or I could have just used the fully qualified names whenever setting up these routes. But of course, that's a lot more typing. And I want to get away from as much typing as possible. But, you know, that's the general idea. So we've grouped all of these together. The, the names are shorter because we have this name prefix. The URLs are shorter because we have the URL prefix. The only thing that we need to do now is get rid of where we set up the resource controller because we don't need that anymore. But then we also need to put the mark notifications red. It only makes sense to put that inside of our group, but we do need to make a few modifications such as the URL. We need to get rid of the notifications there as well as the name. But other than that, you know, everything is going to work as it did before. And we could go through here and we could test every single thing, but we just know that it's going to work. If I edit this and update, it works. If we go back and delete it, it works. Everything is just going to work because all we did is just take the functionality and put it someplace else. Granted, it, we divided it into multiple classes, but the functionality was there to begin with. We didn't change the functionality, just how it was organized. Now, I personally like this approach. In a way, it forces me to ensure that, you know, my actions, uh, which we can now, I guess, call a command because that's exactly what it is. It forces me to, you know, keep my actions or my commands as focused as possible. And I like that. It also arguably makes my code a little bit easier to maintain. Instead of having to go into a controller, scroll through, find whatever it is that I want to work with, I just go to the class that I need to work with because it's a single action and then make whatever change or modification that I need. But now the question is, you know, is this something that you should use? Well, really, that's up to you. I can see a benefit of taking this approach, and I think I'm going to do that for the next couple of projects just to get a feel for it, see if it actually helps me improve my code. But whether or not you should is up to you. I do, however, encourage you to try it. You'll never know if you like it or don't like it if you don't try it.